What's good YouTube? Munching Orange here back again once again and today people today we are here for episode number five of our Pokemon Blaze Black Nuzlocke and you guys in the last episode we actually made it here to the dream yard after we took down the first gym leader silent and today we're gonna be heading out of here and going back to Funnel's house to check out what she's got for us and then actually moving on to the next city so if you guys are excited for another episode as always make sure to leave a like thank you so much for the support in the last few episodes it's been ridiculous and awesome and i love you guys so much orange slices coming through and that is really cool because i haven't been saying that lately so what's up orange slices thank you so much for the support on the videos uh before we actually get started i wanted to look around a little bit because i know that there's some items that i skipped over and we also have a really awesome special episode of the fan art spotlight today uh again you guys have been blowing my mind with how much fan art has been coming through lately i don't even know like it's really crazy because in the last uh, playthrough, which was, I think, the last playthrough that I did the fan art spotlight, uh, Pokemon Solar Light and Lunar Dark, if I'm not mistaken. I know I did some in Insurgents, but um, in Solar Light and Lunar Dark, it was really, really ridiculous how much we got. And this time around, you guys are topping it again uh, with the amount of fan art that's coming in. So thank you all so much for sending that stuff in. Um, as you saw there, we just got two TMs back to back like Drake. Uh, we got Struggle Bug and I think Smackdown was what we just picked up. So pretty worthwhile to actually go after those there. Uh, but now we're going to head out of the Dream Yard because there's not really anything else uh, to explore here as of now. Oh, there was actually an item right there that I completely missed. So I should probably head back for that one um but what i was saying was that those are pretty worthwhile to get there so i'm kind of glad that we actually went in and got those because we are going to be moving on and what the heck three tms in a row dude how the heck and we can even stand here and you can see our little oh I, oh man that's kind of lame i thought it would be like omega ruby alpha sapphire in the new mount pyre you can actually stand in a way so that your face is through the little hole and it looks really cute and i like it but you can't do that in this game because i don't know man they just you can't do it the hole is a little bit too far to the left or a little bit too far to the right, I guess. Depends on how you look at it. It's all about perspective, guys. So, um, we're actually supposed to head over to this lady's house right over here. But, before we do, let's check out the fan art. And like I said, it's kind of a special episode because a lot of you guys took a shot at drawing uh, the Munching Orange character. I don't really know what to call this. I guess, Munching Orange Pokemon Trainer. I don't know. It's kind of like my cartoon persona. If there was ever a cartoon show about me, this is what I would look like. Not actually, you know, what I look like. Because that would be weird because I don't really look like a Pokemon trainer in real life, but you know what? He does, this character. And you guys are awesome at drawing him, so thank you so much, as always, to all the people that submitted them. Um, I know that this is, you know, not all of the ones that got submitted, but there's a lot of them, so we'll try to get through them in each episode. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for that, as always. Keep it up if you want to send me some fan art at MunchingOrange on Twitter, or go to twitter.com slash MunchingOrange, and yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go talk to this lady now. Ta-da! Thanks to you, I got some Dream Mist, and now I can collect save files from various trainers. Wow, way to break the fourth wall, lady. That's just, that is just great and dandy, and I love it so much. So yeah, this basically, the little side quest that we did, not only introduced us to Team Plasma, which I thought was pretty cool, but it's also going to give us the C gear, which enables uh, all the wireless or Wi-Fi stuff that you can do in this game. So we're gonna totally turn that on and whoa look at that guys There's finally something on the bottom screen because the bottom screen has pretty much been empty this whole time But hey now we finally got something down there You see the sea gear was activated and that screen showed up if you touch the question mark icon You can read about some stuff that you really don't care about so nope I don't oh no I pushed the wrong button She's so excited over it and I want to be excited with her, but I just really don't care about the sea gear right now, man. All I care about is Nuzlocke and the city that I'm from. And actually, another thing that happened in the last episode I totally neglected is that we tried to run into a Pokemon in the Dream Yard. That was our next chance to catch someone. And it turns out it was a Natu, and then it teleported away. So yeah, we totally didn't get a chance to catch a Pokemon in the Dream Yard. That's ruined now, so we have to move on to the next route, and there we can hopefully catch a Pokemon. So I'm going to make sure that we're all stocked up on items. You see, I'm on top of it this time, guys. Usually in my playthroughs and Nuzlocke's lately, I just completely forget about potions, forget about uh, repels and that kind of stuff. So we are going to be on top of it this time. I'm going to go for four super potions. We have a decent amount of regular potions, so I think we'll be okay as far as that goes. And we will totally buy a couple of repels as well. We don't need too many because, you know, I do want to run into some Pokemon as well. Um, and we have a great ball. We got five Pokeballs. I think that'll be good enough. For one Pokemon that we get to catch, I think that should be okay. So, 
Without further ado, we are finally leaving Striaton City. I know we've been here forever. It seems like at least we've been here forever. So now we finally get to go to the north now that we got our shiny gym badge. And hey, look at that. It's updated in the in the layout too. I totally forgot to do that in the last episode. So I'm sorry about that, guys. You know, I'm new to this whole face cam layout thing. I, even though I've been making videos for a long time and I've had layouts for a long time as well now, I still don't... I still kind of mess stuff up every once in a while. So, for today's episode, I actually wanted to focus on... Oh my god, I didn't... I forgot the most important thing of all. I forgot to heal our Pokemon. Thankfully, though, I'm pretty sure there's a lady in here that will heal up our Pokemon. No. Please don't. No, 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 no. I don't want to battle you. Okay, can you heal up my Pokemon? Yes, she can. Okay, so I kind of remembered that. You know what? No, that was all planned out, guys. I didn't heal my Pokemon at the center because I knew that that lady would be there. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, Charlie evolved too. What the heck, dude? So much stuff happened last time that I don't even, like, I didn't even mention half of the stuff that happened because so much happened that I don't even remember half of it. So, Anyway, we got some little kids here, and we can actually battle most of them, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not the ones inside, but the ones outside, I'm pretty sure we can at least run. You run, am I gonna chase you? You'll change your perspective, and the reality changes. Whoa! This kid is way too deep to be a toddler, man. Hold up! Wait a minute. I'll run. You're gonna chase me. You run. Am I gonna chase you? Oh my god. Dude, this is some Illuminati stuff. I can't even handle this right now. My brain cannot process this kid's genius right now. So, whatever. We're going to move on to something more important, and that is Pokemon Battle. So, I hope that I put Gohan up first. I meant to put him up first because I really do want to try to focus on training Gohan up at least a little bit. Um, a couple of people told me, you know, fire types are definitely going to come in handy later on in the game. So, you should totally try to at least train up Gohan a little bit. Uh, then again, I, I have a feeling that we might be able to find a better fire types later on because even though I do like Panseer, Pansage, whatever the heck this guy's name is, I think it's Panseer and then he evolves into Semiseer. Um, even though I like the, the little monkey Pokemon, I feel like they definitely fall off later on in the game. Like, they're not really the strongest Pokemon around. Then again, they are all just uh, little monkeys replacing the starter Pokemon, so... They're not really replacing, but they're supposed to be like a second set of starter Pokemon, so they're not really supposed to be the strongest Pokemon around ever. Um, but I don't know, I feel like they're just not that strong. But not only did Charlie evolve in the last episode, uh, we actually learned that Duat is a uh, half fighting type, which I completely forgot to update as well, so now I've just reminded myself uh, all of that will be fixed now in the video and stuff. So, Karate Chop away the Togepi, that actually would have sucked because we were confused there. Oh, actually, no, he lowered our attack, so hey, look at that! Gohan is already learning a new attack, and that is acrobatic, so let's get rid of that Leer. Um, what I was gonna say about the monkeys as well, though, is they're not that bad because they actually evolve with, uh, Firestone, Grass Stone, or Leaf Stone, sorry, and Water Stone, uh, which we get pretty early on in the game, at least normally you can get one as early as Castelia City, which is only the third gym, so yeah, you can get, uh, their evolution kind of early on as long as you know where you're going, so... Hopefully that's still the same in this game and we can get that evolution going pretty early on because uh, that would be pretty cool. So, there we go. How many Pokemon does this lady have? Oh my gosh, she's got a Natu as well. We fought a Natu last time and it, it pretty much trolled us by teleporting away. So this time, we're going to get our revenge on this Natu. Just kidding because Gohan actually does no damage to it. So is it really worth it to train up Gohan like this, like switching in and out? Because I feel like it's really not. Hmm. Maybe instead I'll just go and catch a new Pokemon, because, oh my god, the critical hit too, okay. I'm gonna trust that this Natu won't get another critical hit. Either way, we took it out in one hit, so never mind, that was not... Oh, she had Lucky Chan. I was like, okay, because that is pretty weird, you know, critical hit like that, just like randomly, that's... No, 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 no. Apparently this Ralts is now Reckless, I don't know what that means, but... Pretty sure that's the hidden ability of our Staravia here, so we should... Check out what that does, because I'm actually not sure what that ability even does. But man, that battle took a long time. For being just a random trainer battle, that was a pretty intense battle there. And we've got Reckless. Powers up moves that have recoil damage. Whoa, that is really good, because Staraptor actually gets close combat and Brave Bird later on. So, that will power them up and hopefully not make them actually hurt us more. Because if it does, then that's not too great of a, of a trade-off, I feel like, you know. It does more damage, but also hurts you for more. I don't know if I, that's really worth it, in my opinion, at least. I don't know. Maybe you guys feel differently. Take this! Hyper Beam! Dude, you don't have Hyper Beam, kid. You're like... 
You're like four years old, you just walked up into this playground and you're gonna just tell me that you have Hyper Beam, Tully? Tully? What kind of name is Tully, man? Come on, what are you doing right now? Anyway, he's got a Mudkip, which is actually probably one of the worst things that could have ended up happening to us here. So we're totally switching it off. So go Pan, I maybe should have gone into Charlie. Wow. Is he seriously trying to yawn us right now? Okay, I see how you play, kid. I see the game you're trying to play, and you know what? I'm gonna raise you this. You go for yawn again, really? You have to remind me of how hungry and how sleepy I always am. I'm always sleepy or hungry, guys. I don't know why, but that's just the way that I am. You might notice I kind of have some drowsy eyes most of the time. I don't know what's up with it, but I'm literally just like either hungry or tired all the time. And it sucks because I don't know what to do about it. But that's just the way that I am. And you know what? I've learned to accept myself just like this kid has learned to accept that his Mudkip kind of sucks. So, you know what? Shellos is coming out next, though. Um, this kid might might be a full uh, water and ground type Pokemon team here. I have a suspicion about it, or at least Pokemon that become water and ground, because I don't think Shellos is actually uh, water ground to begin with. I think maybe it's just water. Holy moly, okay. Holy moly, Ravioli. Let's go for the quick attack and actually switch out for the last Pokemon, which is actually going to be Psyduck, so never mind. Not the triple threat of the water ground. I thought maybe his last Pokemon would be Wooper, but nope. It's going to be Psyduck instead, who's living on Cloud9, which totally disappointed us today if you watch League of Legends. Today was not a good day for North America in League of Legends, man. And I know not everybody out there watches it, so I'm not gonna, you know, bore you guys that don't know what I'm talking about about it, but... You should maybe... I don't know. I really like watching it, at least. I don't know about playing it so much. I haven't been playing it as much lately, League of Legends, but I definitely like watching the LCS and stuff and World Championship going on right now. And, man, North America kind of let us down today just just a little bit the apple pie didn't come through the only reason i brought that up is because uh that kid had cloud nine on his side duck and cloud nine is a team in league of legends so you know put one and one together you got yourself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich anyway over here we have another kid and over this way there's actually one more trainer battle i think it's a double battle but i am not going to take that on instead we're actually going to talk to this lady again but a bum bum but a bum or however the Pokemon Center theme goes. I know how it goes, I just tried to do it really fast and it didn't work out. But right here, we've got ourselves a double battle. We're gonna combine our strength and do our best. So please watch. One plus one is two, right? This chick doesn't even know one plus one, dude. How is she ever gonna hope to beat us in a battle? When you can't add one plus one, like, you should not be Pokemon battling. That's just my opinion though, but we got the double threat, I was gonna say the double Dragon Ball Z threat, but nope. I thought it was gonna be Gohan and Pan, like father, like daughter, or son. I think it's a girl, so yeah, like father, like daughter, I guess. Uh, but nope, it is actually Gohan and Charlie instead. And as far as I know, Charlie is not a Dragon Ball Z character, so I don't know how that works out. But we definitely gained a level off of that on our way to becoming Super Saiyan kinda soon. Um, like that, well there was one fun fan art where actually Gohan was Super Saiyan and so was my character. And I thought that was really cool, but... Double kick coming from this Nidoran. Oh my god, look at how much that hurt. Oh, that is just devastating right there. Holy moly, that was, that was, oh my god, man. I don't even know if I could stand another one of those. That was just so ridiculously strong that you know what? I'm gonna ignore that it happened and just razor shell you and boom. Just like that, you're gone, baby. And we have level 18 on Charlie, so good stuff there so far at least. Kumi and Amy. Those are some cool names, Kumi and Amy. I mean, Kumi, or sorry, Amy's a little bit normal, I guess, but Kumi, on the other hand, Kumi, when your name is Kumi, that's when you know stuff is real. And that's what I'm talking about right now, because things are about to get real. Terran is here. Orange, stop. We both have a trio badge, so let's see which of us is stronger. Oh my gosh, we really have a rival battle right now? Okay, I was not expecting a rival battle. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I was not expecting a rival battle right now, but thankfully we did heal our Pokemon. And those twins that we just battled didn't really do, like, any damage at all to our Pokemon, so that is pretty good. The thing about having a rival battle right now that I'm not a big fan of is the fact that I have Gohan up first. And I really don't want to do that because he is going to get kind of destroyed if I don't switch out, so... I'm gonna go to Charlie and hopefully- Oh, wait, no! No, 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 no! Charlie's a fighting type! No! No, 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 no! I may- I have made a huge mistake. Oh my god. Okay, I made a huge mistake, but thankfully it didn't cost us our Pokemon. Oh my god, I need to remember that Charlie is fighting type. 
because that is going to one day that switching is literally going to kill us holy moly that was so scary for a second there i don't know why he didn't go for another wing attack honestly like i would have i guess maybe he expected us to switch the ui or the ai not the ui the U, the ai is so smart that he knows that we're literally going to switch our pokemon so i don't know but right now two double teams on this uh staravia of charons not good for us but thankfully we do hit the the quick attack so there it goes all your double teams are belong to me buddy and now i'm thinking of just staying in on pan because i know that he's gonna come out with snivy at some point Ooh, endeavor right now okay see i kind of like endeavor but i never really know how to use it to its full potential so i'm gonna go for it and hopefully i can learn how to actually use endeavor uh, because I've seen some Pokemon with Endeavor be pretty dang strong, man. So, I don't know. I, I'm thinking, you know, we can we can definitely do something with that. A little a little something something. So, Rock and Roll is actually his next Pokemon. I literally didn't even know that this guy had this Pokemon. Um, and I think actually that I might go for Cut just because even though we have obviously Water Shell, uh, Razor Shell, being a Water type, this guy's got Sturdy normally. So, is it even worth it to really go for? the razor shell we can just swiftly cut him real quick and you know avoid that sturdy i think that cut might be like just a little bit safer because you know not 100 percent accuracy on razor shell as well uh so snivy is actually coming out next and i kind of wanted to go for gohan for a second there but i don't know if i believe in gohan to take down uh this snivy just yet and i know for a fact that staravia will just destroy this thing so yeah, a little bit easy there. Uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, as some say. Easy Fabrizi, Babizi, um, other words, but whatever. His last Pokemon is Panpour, which is the Water Monkey. We don't really have anything. I mean, we do have Cut, actually, on um, Charlie, but it's not really necessary, I guess, because all he's going to do is hone his claws. Dude, you don't even have claws. Do you realize this? Do you understand that you don't have claws to battle with? All you have are little mitten paws. You can't scratch people with these. Look at it doesn't it doesn't work. Like I don't know what you're trying to do, Panpor, but now you're gone. You're the same number of gym badges, but guess what? I still come out on top of the food chain. I see. So that's how you battle. Out of the way. Hey, it's Team Plasma back again, once again, just like the intro. What was that about? Bianca, why are you running? She's not even running, dude. She's literally, like, lightly jogging, like, a little bit. Hey, where were those people headed? That way, but... Why are you running now? Oh, seriously, they run so fast. Miss, um, my Pokemon! I cannot do a little girl voice. Holy moly. That's, that's too hard. Bianca, really, why were you running? You have to hear this. Those people stole this girl's Pokemon! You should have spoken up sooner! Orange, we're gonna get that Pokemon back. Bianca, please stay by the girl's side! All right, Charon off to the rescue. All right, so now not only are we going to get this super potion, but we actually get to catch a whole new Pokemon, and here it is. It is going to be Mareep. Oh, wow, that's actually a pretty cool Pokemon because I was totally actually... I didn't even know that Mareep was in this route, but I was thinking about Mareep lately uh, because... Why was I thinking of Mareep? I actually completely blanked out just now. There was a reason why I was thinking of Mareep, and now we found one, so that's pretty cool. Wow, what the heck? I can't think of why I was thinking of Mareep. But whatever, we're gonna catch it, or hopefully catch it, as long as we don't get, like, a critical hit or something. Um, it's actually down to red HP, actually yellow HP. Maybe I'm a little bit colorblind. I don't know, guys. I might be, but the point is, uh, this is a little bit easier to catch than that not to because it actually doesn't have teleport, so no chance of it running away from us this time. There's no escape for you, Mareep. And boom, just like that, three shakes, and we have got ourselves a Mareep. And I actually have the perfect nickname for this Pokemon. It's Fluffy Colt Swells to Double for something. I didn't even get to read the whole thing, but your name, Mareep, my friend, is going to be... Well, actually, I have to spell it out first, but it, it's it's gonna be Aria. I actually don't know if I ever named a Pokemon Aria before, but I spelled it different, by the way. I know that Aria from Game of Thrones has a Y, not, a, not an I, but I spelled it with an I, because why not? Why? Because there's no Y. See, see what I'm doing here? I'm trying to make some puns, but... Instead of puns, we should be making runs into this cave so that we can fight Team Plasma because we're going to save this little girl's Pokemon. And actually, this is another new area, so we get to catch another Pokemon here. Um, but that might not happen until the next episode, it looks like, because we have got 
a super jam-packed action battle against Team Plasma. It's the same thing for all your Pokemon, so hand him over to us now. Better yet, we'll just take him. Double battle, baby. Double duo battle. Tag battle. Whatever. I don't even know what this kind of battle is called. I'm pretty sure it's tag battle, though, because never mind. I thought that maybe we would be battling at the same time with Charon. Like, it would be two trainers at once, and then me and Charon would be taking them on, but... Nope, they've actually switched it up on us, and so we've got to take on just this little gulpin all on our lonesome. So let's go with an incinerate, and maybe that'll actually do something. Whoa, look at the time right now, guys. 1337. Because that's how elite we are. Oh, yes. We're elite enough that we're going to get uh, poisoned right now. So, actually, even though I still want to try to train Gohan, he's just, he's, he's not doing too good, man. Actually, Charlie is not doing too hot either because. He's actually down to very low HP right now, so Staravia, Pan, you've kind of been our backbone for this team so far, so keep on doing that because you've been doing great and you're going to have to keep on doing it because no one else can really battle at your level right now. I mean, Charlie can, but Charlie's kind of low HP right now, so I'm not going to risk going into him. We're just, we're just going to stay into Pan for a little bit. Actually, never mind, I spoke too soon because here comes a Numel. And as far as I know, Numel shouldn't have anything that can kill Charlie, right? I'm, I'm crossing my fingers here that, that that's right, because if it isn't, then that would actually really suck. But Razor Shell, one hit KO. Um, the only problem is Razor Shell does have that little bit of lower accuracy than usual. So there's a slight little chance that it could miss, you know, and that would really suck. Um, so instead, what we're going to do this time is instead of Razor Shell, we're going to go for a Karate Chop which does have 100% accuracy, and guess what, Houndour, you are Dark-type, my friend, and that means you are a Dead-type, instead of Dark, you're, you're Dead-type, as in you're dead, so there we go, that's Team Plasma Grunt down, I hope that that was only the one battle, because I've actually got something that I have to do in a little bit, so we should probably end off this episode soon, how could we lose when we have right on our side, not bad, Orange, okay, go return to Pokemon to that little girl, you don't need to return it! Oh no, we got two more. How troublesome. Not only do you fail to understand, but you got actually got in our way to boot. There's two of us and two of us. T two, two of us and two of what? So there were more of them. Still, why are Pokemon robbers acting so self-righteous? Orange, we've been friends our whole lives. We've got each other's backs when it counts. Let's show him how it's done. All right, let's show him how it's done, guys. One more battle to end all battles. Against Team Plasma. Not really going to end all battles, though. Oh, no. Wait. This is actually the tag battle this time. Okay. I like it. I like it. Except that I still have Gohan up first. And Gohan is still paralyzed, po poisoned. And one of them has a Voltorb. Oh, boy. This is not going to end well. Okay. Hmm. See, I would go for Arya here if she was full HP. Do you think Gohan can tank a hit from either of these guys? I feel like Gohan could tank a hit. I feel like anyone could. Actually, you know what? I'm going to risk this. Voltorb might just go for an electric attack, but I don't think it will. And even if it does, I think it would go for Charon Staravia. So we're going to go for our own Staravia and hope that that's not the case. All right. She's smart trying to take out. Oh, boy. Please go for Charon. Thank goodness. Okay. I thought right. I predicted it right. And it looks like it wouldn't have killed our pan anyway because, you know, that actually didn't do, like, barely any damage to Charon's uh, thing. So, all right. We can both quick attack this Voltorb and maybe take it out. Come on, Charon. You are smart, buddy. I know you are. So, come on. Yes. He went for it. Okay. I love you, Charon. I really do right now. He's he's doing pretty good right now. Charon's Staravia is dying, but I don't care because it's not my Staravia, dude. As long as it's not mine and mine's not dying, I am just A-OK -okay about everything right now. Uh, we're learning Flame Burst right now, too, so I'm going to get rid of that Hone Claws because I'm probably never going to use that attack. And there goes Charon Staravia. Oh, no, guys. We have a death. Our first death in the Nuzlocke. Whatever shall we do? No! Actually, not really because that was uh, Charon's Pokemon there. So just to be better safe than sorry, I am going to actually uh, potion up Pan here because... These people have a team of six full Pokemon, like a full six Pokemon team. Wow. A speed boosting Carvana right now? Really, dude? Okay. I'm not a fan of that, but I'm, I'm also not hating too much because we can keep the Zubat on the field right now, and, and it's really not doing anything, so. All right. I'm waiting for the rough skin right now. Wait a second. It's got speed boost, so no rough skin for you, buddy. No uh, recoil damage, I meant. Wait. I don't know if that's really considered recoil damage, but... 
Ponyard is actually going to be their next Pokemon. I'm pretty sure that we can't really do anything to that. It's Steel and Dark, uh, if I remember correctly. So we wouldn't really be able to hurt it very much. So let's just take out Zubat now and see whatever else this guy is going to bring out. As he's actually taunting Rock and Rolla. Whoa! Oh my god, Charon, you are coming through right now, dude. That is awesome. We're like... We're in sync, guys. We are literally on the same brainwaves right now with Charon because he is just doing exactly everything that I am thinking of right now. And that is just perfect because, you know, we want him to do what I'm thinking of or something like that. Uh, okay, that wasn't what I was thinking of, Charon. I was thinking maybe another Magnitude Buddy, but hey, if you can hit him with five of those, that would be perfect as well. Nope, not really. Okay, so Tentacool is going to be the final Pokemon. We will make quick work of that with Wing Attack. That should be a one-hit kill, right? Yep. Alright, no problem. We're good. Pan is actually really, really strong right now. And I feel like by saying that, I'm gonna jinx it eventually, but I really hope I don't, so... Charon is gonna finish off the battle with another Magnitude. And just like that, we saved the little girl's Pokémon, and we saved the world from Team Plasma once again. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all after this cutscene. Because we gotta read it. What reason could possibly justify stealing Pokémon from people? Pokemon trainers like you are making Pokemon suffer. What do you mean trainers are making Pokemon suffer? I don't get that at all. Dude, it's not that hard to understand, man. We'll give you back this Pokemon, but be aware of how this Pokemon suffers from being used by people. Someday, open your eyes to your own complicity. All right, peace out, evildoers. Pokemon believe in their trainers and respond to that. I don't understand what about that makes Pokemon suffer. Okay, Orange, I'll return the Pokemon. All right, peace out, Charon. And peace out to you guys, because that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.